Gaming Vault presents 14 things gamers need to stop doing when waking up in the morning. Playing video games is easier than ever, to the point that you just need a decent phone to enjoy gaming. However, with a number of games trying to dominate your time, it's important to set a few guidelines for what not to do when waking up in the morning. Keep in mind that while these aren't do or die measures, they do make a big difference to your general schedule and health. So without further ado, here are 14 things gamers need to stop doing when waking up in the morning. Not fixing the bed. First thing in the morning, you get out of bed. What do you usually do? Brush your teeth? Not bad. Greet the bright shining sun or horrible weather with equal composure? Also good. But you should really be fixing your bed. Fold those sheets, puff that pillow, and arrange the covers. It's a small step to start off the day, and whether you work 9 to 5 or stay at home, it's good to have a clean bed to fall into. Not stretching. If you stretch in the morning after waking up, that's also a good start to the day. Stretching can be done in a good 5 to 10 minutes and will help get the blood pumping. If you have little time to exercise, stretching the shoulders, legs, and arms are a decent substitute. Just try to take it easy. Avoid stretching with a bad back altogether. Not exercising. Of course, if you do have the time, then there's nothing like a good workout in the morning. Go for a run or a moderate walk. Maybe work in some weights. If not weightlifting, then a decent amount of cardio exercise should suffice. Not only will this ensure you're more energetic in the morning, but over time, you'll feel less exhausted when coming home from work and gaming. It also helps you sleep better. Not cleaning hardware. Whether it's a PC or a console, dust can accumulate very fast in a gaming setup. Make it a habit to regularly wipe your hardware every couple of days. Schedule a weekly, in-depth cleaning session as well. Invest in a small blower, open up that PC cabinet and get rid of all of the dust. Cleaning up your keyboard and mouse, especially considering how much bacteria they can attract, is also a must. Considering the amount of time you can spend gaming, it's never a bad idea to keep your hardware running smooth and the environment relatively dust-free. Not going for a walk. If you travel every day for work or hit the gym regularly, the occasional walk is always a good idea. Head outside and get that vitamin D synthesized. On top of the benefits of fresh air, which is also kind of polluted, but that's not the point, walking is also good for cardio. If you can't commit to a workout every day or so, then try taking out half an hour for a walk instead. Ordering out. We know it's tempting, especially if you're single, have enough disposable income, and exercise regularly, but try to resist the urge to eat junk food or order out. This applies doubly so in the morning when you're too lazy after a long night of gaming. Even if there are healthy options to order, try cooking something like eggs and toast in the morning. Nothing beats eating fresh and cooking for yourself in the morning. Waking up late Further to that point, avoid sleeping late to avoid waking up late. The effects of late sleeping start to take their toll on your mood, general health, and awareness as you get older. Doing it for extended periods of time can eventually invite sickness. So sleep on time and don't deviate from that schedule for the sake of late night gaming. Sleeping in. Having a lethargic lifestyle, gaming late, not eating healthy, or any dozen other things can adversely affect you. However, sleeping in due to general laziness also doesn't help, especially since it can set the tone for the rest of your day. This is highly circumstantial compared to not sleeping late from gaming, so take it as you will. Drinking lots of caffeine. Hopelessly addicted to caffeine? Well, we understand, but let's be real. Whether you've been up late or just can't help it, there's no excuse for downing more than just one cup of coffee in the morning. Making an entire pot and finishing it over the course of a day is just as bad. Granted, a huge amount of caffeine is needed for any long-term harm like death, but it's still advised to manage one's intake, especially since you'll need more coffee in the long term for the same hit. Try skipping caffeine for certain periods of time. It helps more than you think. Checking social media. So you're up in the morning and ready to go. Suddenly you check social media, whether it's Twitter or Facebook, and become embroiled in the latest fanboy war or drama that's happening. Here's some advice. Stop. Yes, even if your friends insist that you have to get annoyed about what someone said, did, or played recently, wake up in the morning with a clean palate as it sets the tone for the rest of the day. Watching Rants and Angry Essays The point above feeds into the numerous rants, video essays, etc. that permeate social media. Now, we're not saying you shouldn't hate on Destiny 2 or EA at the beginning of the day. Live and let live, after all. However, engaging in negativity so early in the morning can have an adverse effect. If you must watch or listen to something in the morning, listen to music instead. Explore some strange corner of YouTube and get lost in future funk or something. Online Conversations 
many of us have friends online that we regularly game and tend to make plans with for later in the day. That's all well and dandy, but avoid doing that as soon as you wake up. Once again, the priority should be on freshening up and planning your day accordingly. Besides, if something comes up in between, you won't have to worry about canceling plans later. No morning ritual. Combine all these points together and you'll notice that a proper schedule in the morning goes a long ways towards improving one's lifestyle, both gaming and otherwise. Of course, even if you can't do everything, it's good to have a daily morning ritual of sorts. Taking out time to just fix your bed, stretch, make breakfast, and tidy up your house will make you more energetic for the rest of the day, along with adding to a sense of pride and accomplishment. The real kind, that is. Gaming. Finally, if it wasn't obvious enough, don't start playing games first thing in the morning. Seriously, if the above points have told you anything, it's that gaming should be done after you've freshened up, eaten a decent meal, and among other things. And yes, that includes mobile gaming, so just don't. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.